What's going on guys, Kyger here. Uh, we're going to be checking out the new guild skill system. This is active over on the Southeast Asia SEA servers. Uh, specifically in, I believe it may not be on S, correct me if I'm wrong. But this is what is going to be coming over to Global. And we're going to be talking about them, how you're going to get them. And just some first impressions as well as just from reading all the little bits about it, what it appears to work like. So we have a bunch of stuff up here that kind of shows what they look like. But first, I want to read the rules to you so we know what we're talking about once we go into it. So at the very beginning, uh, guild members can use guild mer uh, merits to unlock and upgrade guild skills. Unlocking and upgrading some guild skills require meeting certain personal or guild conditions. I have not seen these. Uh, I believe this means for higher levels because as we'll see we can only get the two lowest levels uh, right now at least I didn't see any in the shop nor we'll see any here uh, each unlocked guild skill will randomly draw one of HP defense tenacity block uh, block damage reduction and block recovery this is actually color corded as you see up here we have orange green and blue and it'll be uh, I forget which two ones they go with but we'll see them as we go through two of the stats are one of the color two of the stats are another color two of the stats are the third color uh, then the skill attributes this is going to the entire system is going to look something very similar to totems mixed with uh, fairy wills as we'll see the attribute bonus provides uh, by each unlocked guild skill corresponding to the attribute color which are red green and blue it says red but it definitely looks orange the color corresponding to each attribute is fixed the attributes that means that uh, let's say you can't get a green uh, defense uh, sorry block recovery or whatnot uh, the attributes can be randomly obtained from each skill point uh, once you as you see back here we'll talk about it as we go through but each one that you unlock will be random but you can reroll them until you get the one that you're looking for pay attention to the types slot enhancement players can consume emblems which uh, the currency up here in the top right that you'll use to unlock, reroll, and level up these slots. This is going to be your passive bonuses, uh, very much like uh, totems. And then you know how totems had the little uh, pentagons that you can put on little things. That's going to be over here, which how they act is going to be a whole lot more like wills. Uh, consume XP. Uh, inlay emblems which inlay it'll confuse you because a lot of this sounds like we're talking about the same thing but the period bracket is talking about something different so up here is telling you that you can upgrade these with your uh, the credits um, they call it the merits but down here when they talk about the inlay emblems they're talking about the three over here uh, which those are totally separate things. I'm reading it to you and then I'll explain it. It's a lot simpler than it sounds. It sounds like just a bunch of words, but we'll get into it. Based on slot level, every 10 levels increase the emblem slot. Uh, the specified attribute of the inlaid emblem increases by one level. Emblem attributes. Judgment conditions, special attributes is the number of that. We'll talk about that. I know what that means to do, do, do skill emblems skill emblems are divided into three types red green and blue each type can be inlaid once uh, two emblems of the same color cannot be inlaid uh, do, do has regular and special so on your daily you're going to get merits right here from doing your daily guild quests as you see 1500 uh, guild merits a day as well as uh, I think that brings us back to the beginning of that uh, you can also get them 
from this looks like guild war uh, you'll also get some chests everything right here is the same but you'll also get this chest back here at the end uh, but talking about it right here so this is the inlay ones you can only ever have one orange one green and one blue uh, equipped at a certain time but you can have different ones for different things I think this is a very interesting system because the inlay system cares about your uh, totem system as you see the numbers right here are the numbers that you have unlocked once we talk about here so as you see there's one blue one right here so it says zero zero one showing that you have uh, and you get this third one third page once your guild gets to a certain rank now as you'll see unlock these as you go down and you'll see right here this blue one is just giving us 10 tenacity uh, if you level it up to 20 the tenacity will be 20 instead uh, this is also telling you the ones that you can get with the color coordinating uh, HP tenacity block and um, block damage reduction and block damage recovery uh, that's only five of the six not each slot can get all six remember there are six of them so you can reroll them until you get the one that you want and then upgrade them uh, very nice uh, I like that uh, I particularly am, go am going to lean towards green for the new stat but if you're not a tanky character you can go towards uh, a mix of the blue and orange which you will need a mix of everything a little bit depending on your inlays as we'll see here uh, here is an example of an inlay uh, as you'll see rose emblem it'll give you CP uh, it'll give you attack and block these are locked in depending on the color and then right here break it to 40 which requires on that board that we looked at eight orange three green and three blue to get this 240 break and then also you get 1.5 percent damage increase if you also have it doesn't have to be eight plus 13 it's at least eight and at least 13 so you'll get uh, the break 240 if you have all three of these and you'll get the damage increase if you have these as you see this is rose emblem 2 giving you the two different ones right here and remember you can only have one each now these can have just flat stats as we're looking at right here or it can have effects like this one right here which this one looks really really cool so 1.5 percent damage reduction uh, with six blue and 13 green and which remember green is the two new stat ones so you kinda already want to be in there if you're gonna be a tank and this leans more heavily into it with the full moon effect every 10 percent HP remaining gain 0.56 percent damage reduction as well as if you're over 80 percent uh, 3 percent damage reduction so when we scale this up and let's say we're at full HP this is right around 10 percent damage reduction that's going to go down a little bit as we lose HP and this is going to require 6 blue and 16 green you have to be pretty invested in green for my tank boys this is going to be something you're going to be looking for now how do you get them uh, you're going to be getting them right here from the chests uh, you can get one for a lower price in the guild shop as well as five a week for the good and ten a week for the normal there are higher levels of them as we just saw let me bring this up normal good epic superb and antique uh, in the future of course there w probably will be a pink level at the top but right now uh, we're opening chests that are more most likely to give you green blue or orange tier uh, I'm sure uh, later on they're going to give us sales for the yellow and way later on we'll have stuff for the blue uh, when you open them up you get them but uh, you'll have a more than likely chance of getting the tier of the box that you're opening make sure we went over everything 
and as we see right here we are leveling up the slot so that we get a higher stat amount of the base stat as we see right here block 9 attack 30 once we level it up it'll be uh, it's block 5 attack 30 and then block block 9 attack 60 is kind of what it looks like every 10 uh, do, 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 increase of the slot get the special skill increases by one uh, that sounds like if it has a special skill like this one right here it'll be more that's unclear we will find out more once it gets here let me know what you guys think about this down below if you think I got it wrong if you're happy with it till next time guys